Well, it's that time. During casting, we talked about giving each one of these ladies an opportunity to demonstrate their commitment, or not so much, uh, and their progress for uh, a test drive, so to speak. So it's time to look at their progress and discuss who's going to join us going forward on the mission and who's going to continue on the mission alone, right? So, Adriana, tell us about the progress of your ladies. Let me tell you, I've, I've, I'm surprised because I wasn't expecting to have such good turnout and to have the girls to be so open to the process. You know, I really thought, based on past experiences, that it was right. going to be harder for them. But every single one of these women are so committed. They are, for different reasons, they have different personalities, but they're all in it to win it so much. They're on time, they're motivated, they show up, they've never been late, never not attend. Like, I can't even, I'm trying to look for something to tell you that they're not doing right, and there isn't. They're, lo they're losing inches, crazy amount of inches. Wait, it's crazy. Oh. It's like a drink with two well, for a this trainer. Is, this is <laughs> the, third, the third season we're working together, and I've never heard you that enthusiastic over all the contestants. Yeah, so, I'm like in love. I'm in yeah. love with them. <laughs> Matt? Uh, similar to Adriana, uh, my girls are very enthusiastic, energetic, um, for the most part showing up on time. Tati has had some, some issues you know, with traffic, but Hillary shows up on time. Her energy is great. Always has a smile on her face, super positive works her butt off, sweats a ton, just never complains. Uh, Karen shows about 15 minutes early every workout and starts her warm up. She's always ready to roll, pushes herself, you know, and Tati puts her all too when she gets going. I've had some emotional issues at times, some tears here and there, mm -hmm. but for the most part, these girls are kicking butt and I'm very happy. Yeah, well, we, tears to be expected. They're all mm -hmm. getting yeah. pushed out of their yeah. comfort zone, right? Yeah. So Meryl, you're working with these ladies on their nutritional plan. We see that some have lost pounds and and uh, in one case, they've lost one pound, uh, but that can be deceiving. So how do you monitor their progress, their level of commitment on the dietary side, which sometimes is really more challenging oh. than what they're doing with Matt and Adriana? Yeah, well, when you change around what they're eating, it's, yeah. it, it's a huge, huge uh, change for all of them. But I, you know, I have to agree with Adriana and Matt. They're doing phenomenally well. Um, they are all, with the first two week uh, plan that I gave them, they all followed it, they called with questions, and all of them as a group. And then when I met with them together, um, they do, they, they cheer each other on, and I was just surprised at the camaraderie between all of them. And then their success, I mean, I look at the pounds and it's, it's a little surprising because they're all just shrinking, so I know they're losing inches. And uh, they're really, really doing well. Um, I, Our leader, I, Victoria, has done more than 12 points, yeah. uh, pounds at this point. Yeah, she's, I mean, when I saw them, again, it's the change in their face, and but their attitudes are great. Uh, they're, they're all really, really, I'm, I'm surprised even this far out how committed they still are, and they're still following the plan, and, you know, when there's questions, they're just, the dynamics are, are working really well. Well, so. this is no help to us at all. <laughs> we do need to narrow the field, right? Yeah. Yeah. So maybe you can provide some insight there. How do you think the ladies are doing in their headspace? Are they, are they positive? Are they can do? Are they starting to experience some self-doubt? So we're trying to predict who's going to have the greatest chance of really succeeding and blowing out the results on this. You know, I definitely have to report like everybody else as far as commitment. I mean, I have compliance. I have the reaching out through text on a daily message, and I have responses back. So in the beginning, all of them took this charge and were committed fully. Along the way, as you see, once you get into their head, though, and you start triggering and challenging, sometimes it does have a little bit more of a process of working through for some than others based on what experiences they're currently experiencing and what they've already gone through. But I will certainly say that when they are challenged, tears will come, but you will see them push through it. Some of them more than others. So we're really working hard right now on trying to get through some of the more challenging ones. So let's get a little bit more critical. Let's dig a, a layer deep. If you had to pick the champions of the group, who stands out? I mean, as far as my three women, mm -hmm. and this is something that you know me, I'm all or nothing. I'm, I mm -hmm. don't sugarcoat it. You know, that's, I tell you what it is and what I see. And they, the, the three of them need each other because she's more, Deborah, it's more like the, serious, grounded individual. She might not be so bubbly in personality, but she's there and she's strong and she's very solid. And she has a heart of gold. Like I've put that woman through some challenges and she pushes through with, with heart. Like her body is done, but she keeps going. 
So the two of them feel that strength and they feed off of her. So she's almost like the the strong soul of the pack. The leader. And then, in a way, and then you have Sasha, who's Mrs. Happy mm -hmm. and go lucky. She is, she's like so she's there. So we have the strength in here, and then we have the yay, come on. And she's laughing all the time. So if something's getting tough, and instead of complaining, she starts giggling, she tells a joke. So it's almost like we need her for that. And then we have the baby of the group, which is Victoria. And she's naive. She's a little bit more like she needs them, and they take to that motherly nature in them to nurture her, mm -hmm. so they almost have to step up their game so that she can come with them and step up their game as well. So these three, I can't tell you. No help at all. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Comments on, on Team Adriana? Uh, she hit it right on the head. I mean, I, I, I totally agree. Deborah uh, comes off as very reserved and just kind of not spunky, but... Mm -hmm. She really, she puts her heart into it. Um, you know, she's got some medical issues that we're working on nutritionally, and she's after me. You know, you, did you get, I need this, I need that, I'm doing great with it. And so she, her follow through, her commitment is great. And so I agree with Adriana on that. She's solid, right? Yeah, she's, she is. She's a she solid is. individual. Um, well, and they've got great results too. I mean, mm -hmm. numerically, numbers don't lie. Mm -hmm. um, they have lost uh, significant amounts of weight, kind mm -hmm. of the front of the pack, really, mm -hmm. out, of, out of all the six. But again, it's a bigger spectrum than just that that number on the scale, as mm -hmm. we know. Mm -hmm. uh, Matt, and again, I'm going to keep pushing all of you because we've got to make a decision here. Yeah. This field needs to get narrowed. Right now, you're not giving me any help. <laughs> so, so, Matt, let's do a critical assessment uh, a yeah, later. I gotta, I gotta say, kind of the same thing Adriana said. There's, I was expecting some competitiveness between the three, where it was, you know, hey, we're battling for spots here. Who's going to stay on the show? Mm -hmm. But they've kind of come together. As well, very similar to Adriana's crew. Um, you know, Karen, I think, seems to like be the leader of the pack um, of, of my three. Where, you know, and Tati, we, we kind of need to pick her up at times because she gets frustrated. She's fairly novice when it comes to the, the exercise um, uh, arena. And some of the exercises that we do at Primal Fit sometimes are out of her comfort zone and she gets frustrated at times. Um, Karen has a low back issue, as we know, so I've had to really modify some exercises, scale, scale the programming down a little bit for her, just so we don't, you know, re-injure or irritate her lower back. So we've had a little challenge there at times, just modifying, scaling workouts. Hillary keeps her mouth shut, big smile on her face, and just kicks butt. I mean, the, the effort level that they're giving me is fantastic. I would say, out of my three, the weakest is going to have to be Tati. I like her a lot. She's working hard. I feel that she, she, her, she's, her head's in the right place, her heart's in the right place. But if you got to ask me who's the weakest of my three, right. I'm going to have to say it's Tati. Yeah, I'm concerned to hear about the, the low back injury in Karen as well because yeah. we have just started this process. You know, we've got another four to five months ahead of us, mm -hmm. and workouts are going to become more in intensive, more demanding, mm -hmm. uh, something we need to be aware of. So what's your commentary on this? I think that... Um Tati is, is one I haven't seen her as much. I saw her only one time, um, but her commitment is great. I think just her, maybe her accountability, um, waiting for her to, we were trying to schedule something for her second meeting because she wasn't with me for the group meeting. So I still haven't heard from her on that. Um, She's had some job issues. You know, right. So delaying. I don't, yeah. So, you know, life gets in the way kind of, it, it's, but I don't think it's her lack of desire. Right. Um, and the rest of them really, I don't, I, it, it's really difficult for me because they are all, I ask them to report back to me. I ask them mm -hmm. for feedback and they're all giving it to me, whether it's texts. Um, so yeah, from my angle too, I really yeah. haven't seen the fallback. I haven't seen that pulling back and oh, okay, I'm I'm stumbling a little. You know, they're all where's my? You know, they're on top of me. Okay, we're done with week two. Where's week three? Where's week four? You know, there's questions with South Beach. They're on it. We're you know, they're they're, yeah. Sorry, I can't help you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for nothing, <laughs> Jessica. You know, I have a little bit of a different angle. What I look for for me is, is, is I certainly look for the commitment and the compliance, but I don't want someone just going through the motions. I want somebody to be able to really show me in their language and in their perspective how the long term of this is going to look. I know that they're working real hard right now and they're changing their food and they're changing their weights and what they're doing with exercises. But I want to make sure that the way that they look at this situation and the way that they go through this journey is crucial in being able to carry it through. And I have 
Hillary and Sasha, who not only are the support systems for the group in offering such of the positive pieces of advice and being able to pay it forward with other quotations that have really helped them in, in more challenging times, but they have also initiated and requested help when those stuck points come up. Um, Victoria and Deborah, they both as well. Again, their energy might be a little bit less just based on their personality, but they are highly committed and basically bringing up things that they are very open with. They are discussing very big stressors that have occurred in their life and that are currently occurring at this moment. Tati, unfortunately, she is experiencing more environmental stressors right now based on job, based on pushing back a wedding that was a huge, courageous decision that most women don't make that need to. So, yeah, In terms of psychological stressors, I mean, you know, not having a job or losing a job or changing a job those are very or high. changing your relationship status, that's, those are right up there at the top of you the You know, list. on the stress inventory index, those are one of the top two, yeah. you know, losses that when, we, when you go through that, that takes a big toll. So I don't really have anything to say as far as commitment because when those issues weren't there, she was fully committed. But due to the lack of uh, time that I've been able to spend with her, I don't have too much to share to see how her language and perspective has changed. Um, and for Karen, she is, I agree with Matt, she is highly committed in making sure she is punctual. She is on time. She is the first to respond to most of those assignments. Mm -hmm. I think that what, what happens is that when she's challenged with some of the more deeper issues, I feel like that's where she gets a little bit more stuck, so she's she intense. hesitates she's yes, she's being intense. able to, to work through some of those. So I haven't heard from her on the last couple assignments. Got it. Well, I know, just to, to speak to that, I'm, I'm not defending her, but she's been in touch with me quite a bit since her bike ride. She had this huge bike ride on Saturday, Sun I believe. Yes, Sunday. Um, was it Sunday? And I had instructed her on how to eat prior mm -hmm. and what to do prior. And I think she was very torn in her own heart about, do I follow this or do I listen to what Meryl's telling me? Because she wants to have success right. in the weight loss. Right. And she ended up really not doing well. Through the, well, she finished the bike ride, but crashed. I mean, yeah. she crashed and burned and was not feeling well. So. Um, but she showed up on Monday. Right, and I said and to I her, said, "This might be a bad idea, right, considering but, what you did yesterday. So let's just let's just stretch today and and do your active warm up and a little active recovery." And she ended up leaving early because right. she wasn't feeling good. Nonetheless, we need to make a decision. Okay. So let's start out at the the extreme end. Let's say, Adriana, choose the least likely to succeed from your three women. If I had to pick somebody, it would be this one. Okay, give me two more. Oof. I'm gonna have to go with this one. Okay, tough decisions, but yeah. we need one more, Adriana. I know, I know who it is. It's this one. Okay, mm -hmm. good calls. We'll get to you ladies in just a minute. <laughs> Matt, same goes. Okay. The one you choose least likely to succeed. I'm gonna have to go right here. Okay. Tough, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Who else? Whew, this is harder than I thought. <laughs> hmm. Go with your gut. For some reason, I don't know why. But I think that's I think that's my decision right okay. there. Well, you've the been segment. working with clients for years, so yeah. that, that gut intuition is important. Meryl. Oh, this is so not fair. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if I had a pick, though, I would pick uh, this one. Okay, one more. Mm, um, I'll say this one. Okay, good. We've got some agreement, some disagreement. Okay, I kind of expected that. Mm -hmm. Jessica. Clearly the idea of eliminating any of these girls working through their issues has really been stressful. But if I had to look and see based on what I know and what I feel will be long term, I think I may have to go with this one and possibly this one. Okay, we have to make a decision. Mm -hmm. I think you both know what it is. Mm -hmm. Time to execute, yeah. do what needs to be done. Mm -hmm.